Okay, so we're going to prove that the secant of x minus cosecant of x over secant x plus cosecant of x is equal to tangent x minus 1 over tangent x plus 1. So let's go ahead and get started on the proof. So with these types of proofs, we always choose the more complicated side and then go to the least complicated side. All right. So this one looks a little bit more complicated. So let's use this. So we'll, um, we know secant x minus cosecant x over secant x plus cosecant x. Okay. Well, we know this is equal to, so we know secant is the same thing as 1 over cosine, and cosecant is the same as 1 over sine. So I'm going to go ahead and use that definition for all these. So secant is 1 over cosine x, right, uh, minus 1 over sine x over uh, 1 over cosine x plus 1 over sine x. Now, what I want is tangent x, right, in these two slots here, and I want ones here. Well, what I could do, I know that tangent is the same thing as sine over cosine, so if I were to multiply, right, this numerator, this whole numerator by sine of x, right, and this whole denominator by sine of x, then I get what I want, right? Because sine x times one over cosine x is uh, sine x over cosine x, which is tangent x. And sine x times one over sine x is just one, right? And then the same thing in the bottom. And this is legitimate because this is equal to this because this is the same thing as this, just multiplied by a special one, right? So this is equal to, so sine x times, oh, another thing, let's go ahead and put a parenthesis around this to indicate that I have to distribute, right? So sine x times one over cosine x is sine x over cosine x. And then this will be minus one over sine x over cosine x plus one which is equal to tangent x minus one over tangent x plus one, which is exactly what we wanted. So we got from the left-hand side, right, to the right-hand side. And that's the proof.